Good morning, everyone. My name is Reem Ahmed. I'm part of the technology solutions professional team in Nine.com. So we've been publishing so far a series of videos talking about Microsoft Private Cloud capabilities and how we can use the Microsoft Private Cloud solution in order to face daily business and IT challenges in our organizations. We've said in the beginning that Microsoft Private Cloud Solution is a cross-platform solution, so it can integrate seamlessly with other vendors rather than Microsoft. For As an example for this, we'll be talking today about how we can use System Center Operations Manager in order to monitor Oracle databases. To be able to do so, we will be using a management pack I will be using a management pack provided by a company called Bridgeways. Bridgeways is a Microsoft uh, partner, which is gold certified uh, partner, and they have developed an, a management pack for SCOM in order to be able to monitor the Oracle database. Okay, so now we'll be going to SCOM console and discovering more about the capabilities of this management pack. So when we deploy this management pack in SCOM, we'll be offered by this folder, the Bridgeways Oracle, and this includes all the dashboards and all the views that we can uh, do and all the management capabilities that we can do over the Oracle database. So let's begin with the database server dashboard, okay? It will show us here that there is uh, the database server state, and here we can see that there is a critical alert and the server active alerts currently. Uh, there are two critical alerts and one warning. If we open any of these alerts, it will, it will let us view the dependencies of this alert. Each alert is dependent on another small alert till we go to the root cause of this problem. And we can see here a knowledge-based article uh, related to this alert. A summary of uh, to describe this alert and what the monitor is monitoring exactly in uh, Oracle database and why this alert has been uh, initiated in SCOM and the causes of this alert as we've said and how we can resolve uh, this problem. This of course will offload the SCOM administrator because he will be able to uh, easily manage the Oracle uh, alerts uh, and he will not have to be really that experienced in managing Oracle databases because he will be provided by the help of these knowledge articles. Okay. Okay, another thing we can view here is the diagram view, and this will provide us with an overview of the Oracle uh, environment that we have, the listener and the uh, database instances that we will have in our environment. Here is the instance, and as you can see that the health status of this uh, listener is, uh, is it's okay. Yeah? It's, uh, it doesn't have any warnings and doesn't have any critical alerts. Also, this is the health uh, state of the instance uh, of the databases, and you can see that there is a critical alert, and we will see what is this alert later on uh, through uh, the console. Okay, so this is just to uh, help you view an, uh, an overall picture of the Oracle environment that you have in your infrastructure. Okay, so let's uh, view the active alerts as we've said we can open any alert and see the knowledge base article related to this alert uh, also we can see the active session counts it will provide us with a dashboard for all the sessions that are actively now on uh, the oracle databases as you know that this is a demo environment it's not a production environment so of course in a production environment these dashboards will be so much uh, richer than that but since it's a demo environment, so we don't have uh, that many sessions and uh, that many operations on the Oracle databases. Uh, another very important thing that I want to talk about is the administrative tasks and the real-time tasks that we can do uh, on Oracle databases using the SCOM console. You can see here that we can reset the credentials, set the, uh, the credentials, modify uh, the workload the repository, restart the database or stop a database. Also, we can view the top 10 sessions and so forth. So let's, for example, uh, run this query. This, after running this query, will be offered with the top 10 sessions on our uh, database. So it's currently running the task. After running the task, we'll be expecting here to see in the task output uh, what are the top 10 uh, sessions on our Oracle environment. So here you can see that those are 
the top 10 uh, sessions in our Oracle environment. This is just an example of the administrative tasks, of course. Also, another thing I want to stress on is the reporting capabilities offered by SCOM uh, during the monitoring uh, cycle of uh, the, or the Oracle databases. Here we can generate so many different reports, uh, an Oracle database instance report, uh, alert logging latency, availability, event analysis, and so forth. Let's, for example, check the availability. So we click on this availability and uh, first will be provided by the settings that we want for this report, uh, the data aggregation hourly or uh, daily from when to when. So let's, for example, calculate from the beginning of this week to today and let's run the report. After running the report, we'll be expecting to view the availability of the Oracle environment throughout the time that we've set. We will find that the uptime was 99.94%, the downtime 0.06%, uptime in hours, minutes, and seconds, and so on. Okay, This is just, of course, a sample of the reporting capabilities. We've said that there are other reports, but we'll be just covering bits and pieces from what uh, this management pack can do. Another thing we can see is the commits. Let's see uh, the dashboard for the commits on the databases. Here you can see the number of commits. Again, it's not that uh, much because it's a, product, uh, it's a demo environment. Uh, what else can we view? We can also view the instance state, for example. We can see here that the instance is currently critical. Again, if, you, if we open this uh, alert, Sorry, it will generate uh, the dependencies of this alert and the knowledge article that can help us resolve this alert. Another thing we can view is, for example, uh, the listener uh, state. And here we can see that our listener is in a healthy state. Uh, what else can we see? The open cursors, for example. This is a dashboard for the open cursors on the database. And of course, there are so many other dashboards that we can view, all depending on the kind of administration and the kind of monitoring that we want to do for our Oracle uh, database environment. So this is all for today. Thank you for listening.